fancy oh, yeah, stuff yeah, going yeah. on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the, uh, these those are, are... That's beautiful. Oh, so are those uh, lilacs? I think so. You know what I do? She's got I'm, lilac flowers I am such a nails. type B person. I literally go there and say, <laughs> whatever you want, help, like, you know, use your creativity. Oh go to town. And she does a fabulous job. And this time she picked purple flowers. I love it. Um, I love it, Caitlin. Yeah, so we're going to talk about gel polish so this is another option so this i think is acrylic this is how much i know okay. i think this is acrylic gel polish so you when you go get your nails done anthony you can pick regular polish or gel nail polish if okay. you're just going to get them painted regular is acrylic regular is just nail polish that you put on your regular nails that chips off okay super annoying gel lasts a little bit longer maybe a two weeks it's a little more expensive and you put your hands underneath those like lights so I thought that this story was going to be about the lights because they say that that can give your hand cancer, um, skin cancer. But actually, we're talking about an ingredient in the gel nail polishes that, as of yesterday, the European Union banned. Okay, so let's get into this. Anthony suggested I don't try to pronounce this. Don't do it. So I'm just going to call it TPO. TPO. It's an ingredient called TPO in this nail polish. And it's what gives the gel manicures that ultra glossy finish and fast dry time under UV or LED lights. So I'm wondering if it's in the acrylic too, now that we're saying it, because you do put your hands under those lights. Um, but EU regulators ruled it as toxic, linking it to fertility and reproductive health Yikes. risks. Yikes. What? Because we've been trying to, I mean, by we, I just mean collectively, Fertility has been a issue. Issue. Everybody I, mean, I know is having problems. Every. I don't think uh, it, you'd be hard pressed to find anyone who's like kind of in our age range who doesn't either hasn't gone through infertility issues themselves or knows someone very very close to them yeah. that has experienced it as right. well. And there's just been all kinds of speculation. Microplastics. My, yeah, exactly. Or whatever. Yeah. Or, or processed foods. Sure. Right. Yeah. Um, anyways. We could go down that. that that's a so whole gel thing. polish. This has that. been popular since the 2000s. So have you done gel polish? Of I course. Mean, like, who hasn't? Okay. So it's carcinogenic, mutagenic, mutagenic, or toxic to reproduction. Which that's the other thing is, you know, you're, you're pregnant. One way to treat yourself: get your nails done. And you mm. wouldn't think, but if you really think about it, your nails are porous, and when they do the gel nail polish, they kind of get they. What is that called? Your nails are porous? Of course they are. I guess that makes they sense. They use like a nail file, nail file to get your nails down and then I and could so imagine it So it might it find its way up. into the bloodstream somehow. Yeah, like, okay. Or onto the skin and yeah, the skin so absorbs it and probably, yeah. Could be. So the EU often moves faster than the US on cosmetic safety. It also banned ingredients like BHA, BHT, and, the e the, and even the so-called yoga mat chemical found in bread. So here in the US, TPO is still unregulated that some experts say the ban is precautionary since most studies linking TPO to health risks are based on animal data. Nail salon owners argue the deadline came too fast, leaving them scrambling to find TPO-free alternatives. Huh. I get it. I mean, because you... The thing is, you're paying to get your nails done, and if you get just regular nail polish, it just chips right off. I could imagine all nail polish is bad for you if you think about it. Wow. It's like makeup. It's all the things. So I wow. guess there's just a, you know, okay. a, a risk, benefit, exactly, know, weight to go on with this. I wonder if that's going to happen here in the U.S. too. Yeah, I'm and if people surprised. will hear this, but think and about this. avoid doing that. I doubt it. Because like I said, those lights, we know that they're linked to skin issues, skin cancers. Um, also, people get infections all the time getting their nails done. If you have a cut, you put your foot in the, you know, the baths, you could get an really? infection. You could get an infection from a nail salon if they don't properly clean their, their tools. Yeah, it's a hazard. When I was in Thailand, side, side story, there were uh, places where you put your foot in like a pool. Yeah, have you done that? No. Did you try it? No, no. I was curious about it, though. The fish little. They yeah. Your, your feet yeah, they, your they, they feed on all the... So you're not a man that goes and gets his nails done. I want to get a pedicure. I definitely want to get a pedicure because... Well, I don't want to go into too much detail, but I want... That's on my list. Your feet I, are gross. They're just... They're not... It's not that they're that gross, but like... they're Okay. There's like these... 
vertical lines on them. Okay. And I wonder, I've Googled it and it's like, it's it, perhaps a vitamin skin? deficiency. No, it's like vertical lines on the nail. Oh. And um, I can't get one of them to like grow out properly. I just want to. It's from that bike ride that you did. Could be. Um, it no, could Kaplan be. Kaplan gets his nails done. You I, uh, I, I'd be, I, 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 that's been on my list. It's I don't care way. about these. Yeah. I, I, I want the comfort. To, it, it's almost like for comfort, too. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it, Caitlin. I get Every it. once in a while, I just get a little pain down there in the oh, toe wear. It's just That sounds I, like a doctor issue, yeah. Anthony. All right. Let's switch gears. Sorry okay. if everyone's eating breakfast <laughs> right now.